welcome to my small session about uh, migrating uh, Joomla 1.0 to 2.5. Um, so uh, we'll switch, uh, do this in about four topics. Uh, short, a small intro about me and my student council, which the site we migrate is from. Uh, then the analyzing state, what we have at the moment, what we want to have in the new site, the options we have, and then uh, also the missing extensions, what features we don't have to, uh, what we needed to do on our own. Um, then I will talk about a bit about the migration script itself, um, and also about some extensions we are using and changed it uh, a bit to our needs. And then the questions. <laughs> so about me, uh, my name is Sven Schulczyk. Uh, I'm 25 years young and student at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. I'm studying electronic and informatic engineering, uh, still on diploma. <laughs> one of the last. Uh, I'm, as named, a member of the student council of our faculty. And I also have a small business beside where I'm building extensions, working with Joomla, doing websites for customers. Uh, and I also language coordinator and contributor to Kunine. Um, the Student Council is a group of students of each faculty uh, which, uh, who, which are doing advising students if they have questions or uh, have some problems with the uh, study. Uh, we are some, pa uh, some kind of a gateway between the university and the students. Um, we are providing, for example, also an introducing stage for new students so they know where they have to go, where the uh, lessons are, etc. And we are also publishing Der Funke. It's our newspaper, and which we also have, have on our website for download. Uh, analyzing state. At the moment, we are running a Lampmoth forum for those who knows <laughs> it. It's pretty old and um, it's also some kind of a bit hacked. Um, we are also running a hacked Joomla 1.0 uh, because we needed some ACL stuff in the early states where we can choose between normal registered people and students. Um, this is for those people who know Anno Klassing. He made it. He, ha uh, he, had, um, he made a lot of um, commits to the 1.5, Juma 1.5 uh, core. And he was also a core team member. Um, at the moment, we are using Event Call as our calendar. Uh, it's also pretty. Um, yeah, pretty boring to add new events, new uh, stuff. And also, we can't edit anything on the front end. So the people can create new events on the front, uh, front end, but nobody can change it. So they have to email the administrators, and so they can do it. Um, we have also a meeting minute search on our uh, website. It's a self-made uh, extension. Uh, the minute meetings we, are, we have in our student council each week a meeting. Uh, and so people can search through the uh, minute meeting, uh, meeting minutes uh, if what we said to do and what we wanted to do in a year ago or so. Uh, we provide also some timetables for the students uh, so they know where, uh, where they have to go for the lessons and what they have to hear in their semesters. 
then we also have a small library in our student council where so we made also a small extension. Okay, it's not that small. Uh, so the people can search through the library and we can do a checkout over the uh, software so the students can land the books. Um, also, we have some event registration on it. Uh, at the moment, we are using breathing forms. It's pretty ugly to create uh, their uh, new forms. Some part of the forms are also uh, are totally self-made. Some are external scripts which are written in Python or C or, or what else. Um, yeah, and as I said, content creation and event creation is not very intuitive and for the most people who are not familiar with Joomla or with computers in any way, uh, it's a bit hard to do those. Uh, the biggest problem is that nobody can upload at the moment the, uh, pictures at, at the front end. So we also wanted to create a new website where it is possible. So it was the current state. Now we are going to the target state um, because we are a university now uh, named un under KIT, so we are uh, merged with the uh, with a other facility together, and so we wanted to create now not only German, uh, we want to create German and English content, so also the foreign students can read and understand what uh, we are talking about. Um, also, a nice feature we are wanted to implement is to add and remove. Uh, different users automatically from ACL groups over their email addresses. Uh, to that, I, we, I will talk a bit more later. Uh, new forum should for ex uh, exactly uh, have a well working moderation, what loudmouth not have. And also, loudmouth is not possible to create subcategories, so you have just one layer uh, with categories. Um, we also need some kind of directory for our newspaper. Timetables are made at the moment with extra components, so we wanted to uh, don't use uh, own component or create a new own component for, the, for this again. Um, the forms should be easier to handle and also the database structure so it ca is better to export and use the data we are saving. Um, and also the content creation and event creation should be easier and possible to modify and be more responsive all the time. And calendar is needed and a real cool feature we want to implement because we have a lot of mailing lists where people can subscribe so they get information about the study or just uh, information for their specific semester so they can contact each other in their semester. And we want to do this inside the user profile so, it's, so they don't need to get on ex, uh, extra external sites to do it for this uh, mailing list, they have to go there, and for me, this mailing list, they have to go over there. Yeah, that, are, that is what we want to do. Um, now, what options we have? Okay, German and English. Uh, we all know Joomla 2.5 now is able to do more languages inside or with the core. Uh, and also for content creation. We are decided to use uh, Sobe Pro because we wanted to use, uh, create directories, and uh, so we said, okay, Sobe Pro is also able to do more languages, so we're using it. For the forum, okay, I'm a team member of Kunena, so what we will use, we will use Kunina. <laughs> uh, directors, as I said, will be Sobe Pro. It's pretty cool to use it and it's pretty easy. 
timetables. Um, it was a bit work to do it without creating an own component, but uh, also Sobe Pro is really useful for this. It's just some uh, content items, and we made some custom templates, and then we had the timetables. Was work about two days or so. Uh, easier forms. Also, the developer of that extension don't thought about to use his component as a, a form creation component. Uh, he said later on, when I told him that we are using it, so, oh, moment, hmm, it's really cool. I can do it also. Thanks. So it's Sobe Pro. <laughs> um, okay, in content creation, it's also Sobe Pro. Um, so now, problems what we had about was the calendar. There, we are forced to, uh, okay, we are not allowed to pay for any software. So we have to use the free, uh, free extensions for Joomla. Uh, so we had a bit problems to find a good calendar. Uh, in the early states, we decided to use Shea Wens. But, uh, but yesterday I talked to uh, Ronnie and he said, oh, ReadyWend is now for free, so I think we will evaluate uh, if we will switch. Because JWrench is not possible to exclude uh, specific events in uh, cycle events. So if you have event each week and want to exclude one week, JWrench is not possible to do it at the moment. Uh, mainly subscription through user profile um, is not done yet. We will create an own extension then, but uh, we are doing also some uh, switching inside our main list subscription software. So we, at the moment, don't know which one we will use uh, for the future. So there we had no t uh, we are not doing anything at the moment for it. And uh, the automated adding and removing was also not, uh, not available at all. So I wrote an own extension. Uh, it's called SVSIC Group. It's uh, released at the moment as better version. It's also, it can be found on the uh, GED. So I up uploaded it already. Yeah. So it was the analyzing part. So I will switch now to the uh, migration itself. Um, the most migration scripts that are available for Joomla 1.0 uh, to 1.5 and 1.5 to 2.5 are written in PHP. But all who already looked into those migrators, it's always a bit complicated and much work to get the data and do it, uh, get all the other stuff. And so we have some guys in our student council with, uh, who are very familiar with Python. And so he started to wrote it in Python and I have to say it was pretty fast he wrote it and it was pretty easy. I don't know Python that well, but I understand the code and it's so easy, you will see. <laughs> so it's easy and flexible. Um, for what we use it. Uh, we don't migrate the content because one part uh, we are changing the structure itself uh, from our content. So because now with Sobe Pro we can do subcategories and subcategories and subcategories and so we will uh, change the structure a bit of our site so it's more intuitive so the people can find uh, the information they uh, want, uh, want uh, much easier. Uh, we are using it for the user, prof uh, user database, the migration script, the contact database, the calendar, and the forum. So, uh, yeah. So, that's the general part of the migration script. As you see, it's just a few lines of code. Um, and at first, we're just importing some 
libraries which, which are needed to contact the database. Um, then we get here, we get a new database where we want to migrate the stuff to. And under here, we are contact, uh, getting the connection to the old database where we're getting the information. And down here, we are importing all the um, other migration scripts for users, form, contacts, and calendar, and doing the migration itself. So you see it's some lines of code and nothing special that way. And it's really, really fast and easy to road. Um, that's a part of the user migration. Uh, I will show you a bit about the user migration and uh, um, contact migration. Uh, the forum in the calendar, I did not insert into the slide show, uh, slides because they are a bit huge, uh, more huge. And so if we have time at the end and you are interested in it, I can show you. Um, over here we have just created uh, some uh, arrays. So we are want to force some uh, user profiles to be administrator or sub-administrator. Then we just kill uh, the new database so we can insert the data we want. Getting the users from the old database here and then we are fetching or uh, going through all entries uh, and doing do some stuff like setting the new IDs of the ACL groups um, and uh, new ACL groups do some decoding and then throw them back into the new database. So that far. Um, then contact is also we are just doing some mapping. So we say the old 66 category goes into the new 46, the 11 to the 47. Uh, then we have some params. Also killing the new database so we can get into our data and then getting the old database with the data we want, fetching it and pushing it again back so you see you have just some few lines of code uh, and it works and it's do what we want to do. Uh, any questions till yet to the script? No? Okay. I will go further. Uh, what we have done for Kunina. Uh, we are using a LaTeX parser in our forum. So, because uh, at the university we have a lot of uh, formulas and stuff and mathematic things, uh, so we are included a LaTeX uh, parser into our forum, and for that we are using a BB code tag. Uh, but the problem was that Kunina was till that state not able to add her own BB code without hacking it. So we started to including a new hook into it, so you can just write a Canina plugin and jump into the creation of, or getting instance of the um, BB code parser and add your own BB code tags. Um, also, you can use another hook we are created to uh, insert a button on any place in the editor you want, so no, it's not uh, placed on the end, so uh, you can choose where you want to place it, so it's more logical. And also you, uh, the BB code tag you are adding is available in the uh, preview, so it's also a hook into the JavaScript preview creation, so there's also dis uh, it displayed. Uh, for that we are created also Kunena plugin, first, uh, first plugin which here is using this hook and uh, it's using, for example, MathJax. For those who know it, MathJax is a web, a web service. So you just include uh, a small JavaScript uh, link into your header, and then it gets all loaded from the web services. 
that is needed because the library of MathCheck is this huge, so you can't install it on a normal web page pipe plugin because it's about nine megabytes or, or so. Uh, and with the small script you are adding into the header, you are only getting those uh, data from the library you are needing, not all. So it's faster and you have uh, less, uh, uh, less size of the package. Or you can also use MimeTech. Uh, MimeTech is a server-sided uh, LaTeX parser. Uh, the benefit of MathCheck is that it returns uh, HTML, CSS uh, piece. So it's also a uh, robot readable or for blind people, so they also can read it. Uh, and MimeTech only returns a picture, so it's not really useful for most people. Uh, math checks also have the possibility to uh, add a small menu on a right click when you click on the uh, latex past code. So you can choose to see it in HTML, CSS, or SVG, or um, some other structure arts to uh, display uh, latex code. Um, also, a problem we are, will work on it is to view categories public, but restrict the right access to some groups. Uh, this is not yet possible in this way. So when you now restrict a category to an ACL group, it's hidden for the public, uh, public uh, people. Uh, it is not ready. We are working on it. So, huh? Yeah, yeah. We will work on it. Yeah. It's just noted. Um, yeah. It was the Kunena part. Here's a small picture, a screenshot of the parser. So you have here the BB code we added, the formula, and then you get. Uh, HTML, this, is, this down here is HTML and CSS uh, piece. Uh, there's still a small bug in it, so it's not ready yet, <laughs> totally. Okay, uh, this far. Now we are coming to Sobe Pro. Uh, as I mentioned, we want to use Sobe Pro as a form extension also. So there was a uh, capture needed, because if we publish a form on the public, so no uh, robots and, and spam bots are acting to it. So we created a small field to use the recapture from Google. Uh, yeah. Also, we have using uh, Sobe Pro for news tickets. So the image field, uh, which is uh, inside Sobe Pro, is only able to upload on each new content element a new photo, a new image. But with News Ticket, we have some images we are using each time again. And so we, uh, tried, uh, we took the original image field and added a small gallery view to it, uh, so you can choose e uh, either uh, image which is uploaded already in the gallery, or upload a new one. Uh, this is made because we don't want that the normal uh, student council members add images by themselves over, for example, G uh, GCE. Uh, we disabled the possibility in GCEs uh, that they can add their own pictures somewhere they want because we want to place the picture where we decided the pictures are placed. So we're using the image field from Sobe Pro. Um, also, for timetables, uh, we are using the URL field. Uh, problem there was the URL field includes an input field at the top and then input for the name, then an input field for the URL itself. So it mixes the data and returns a complete HTML uh, URL tag. Uh, the thing is that 
normal student council members are that way that they uh, insert. Sometimes they say, okay, it's, it's the lesson uh, XY, and then they call it next time XYZ, uh, but it's the same as XY, so we wanted to force that the names of the URL fields are uh, the same at each time. So we just take the uh, input field, killed it, and put into the drop-down field uh, from Sobe Pro, which is inside. Uh, these two extensions, the uh, recapture, the image the recapture is already released. It's also found on GED if someone needs it. Uh, the image field and a URL field will be uploaded soon. There are still some testing needed, so it's really stable. Um, here we have the configuration view of the recapture field. Uh, you have the same configurations as for each Sobe Pro field with the addition that you have under here your public key you can insert, then your private key, uh, choose the design of the uh, recapture, so clean, red, black, something else, and the uh, possibility to use SSL or not. That are the four uh, options you can set for the recapture. Um, here we have the extended image field. So you see down here, this is the normal upload field of the image field. And then we added here a small gallery where, can, where you will see all images uploaded in this specific folder you set it. Uh, Here's the configuration of the URL field. Uh, we have here the normal uh, drop-down list configuration, so you can add here the, uh, the pieces of topics you want to display inside uh, the URL field. So you can predefine the names of the URLs you want to display in a specific category. So that was the stuff for Sobe Pro. Now, interesting part, uh, most interesting part for me was, was the SVSA group because uh, it was the first time I used the new Joomla 2.5 API. So it was pretty new and pretty excited to uh, learn about the ACL possibilities there are. So uh, I displayed some example. For example, you have uh, business uh, group or university or something else which uses subdomains for different kind of people. So for example, K, uh, we have the students with uh, at student.kt.edu and for other stuff, the email addresses are at kt.edu. So we can uh, say, okay, the students go in inside the student group. So they see student specific. Uh, student-specific information. And then we have the normal stuff, which are, for example, the uh, um, the people who are talking, uh, to, uh, lead a talk. So uh, they, also, oops, they also have the access to our forum to answer questions of the students. But we also wanted to uh, create content which they should not see. So they don't pissed or something else. <laughs> um, yeah, for that we are used the pretty new hook. Uh, no, the hook is not new uh, on user after save. So it jumps into each registration when a new user is regist uh, registration uh, on the website, and on each update of the use, uh, user profile. So uh, if you have some kind of user who in the first place used a web.de email address or uh, other email address from, from his other mail providers or Google Mail or something, and then use it, uh, change it to the student at kt.edu 
uh, URL uh, that he is not immediately in the group. Uh, so uh, he will uh, get an email. That's why, uh, so, uh, so we used, used the hook for that. Uh, because of we are sending on that an email to the user, so he can verify that the email address is really his own email address and he wants to get in the, into this group, we are sending him an email. But only when he is updating his profile, uh, when he does a new registration, he gets anyway an email from Joomla itself. Uh, so we had to create also a component. So it's not only done by a plugin. Uh, we needed to create a component so we can hear when some of the users click on the link in the email address. It's not possible to hear on a URL in a plugin. So here is the configuration for the plugin. You see over here um, there are four possibilities to create uh, to, uh, to create um, um, regular expressions. So you just insert a regular expression. So you say, okay, all email addresses that are at student.kt.edu or at Okay, this is not seen here at dut.universitycarcere.de that are the old email addresses of us. Then he will get moved into the group editor, for example. Uh, and so you can do it four times. So you can, uh, the goal for this plugin is I will change it that way that you can add as many uh, regular expressions as you need for your own site. So there's no limitation to it. So this will be changed in the future. Um, yeah. So um, this is just a few of the component. So you have, so you can see here, down here, our pending, uh, pending um, movements into the ACL group. So if some kind of user have a problem, oh, I don't get the email, email can, don't, can't you put me into it, uh, and so on. Uh, so you have the possibility to approve it by yourself, or if something is too old, you can just delete it over the button. Uh, that's all what the component is for. So that was SVS group. Now we are coming to the questions. Any questions up here? Yeah? What do you do with all users that are not uh, anymore at the university? Um, that's a pretty problem, yes. Uh, OK, OK. The uh, question was that what we are doing with students who are not anymore at a university, so, yeah, so they exmatriculated. Um, it's a pretty problem because we can't verify that. Uh, the email addresses exist for about two or three years still uh, after they left the university. So our I IT uh, guys are a bit slow on that <laughs> to, to kill the email addresses. So we have to wait till um, they don't exist and then they can't log uh, get any information anymore because then we can check the database and at our IT if the email address exists and then we can kill it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the software, the, our IT uh, facility at the university is using is a bit strange. <laughs> so they, sometimes they don't even know on their own what it is doing. <laughs> but we, are, we have uh, at our student, uh, student council itself an LDAP uh, server which we want to use, it in the, uh, use in the future. So that's also a point we want to implement. Yeah, uh, we also um, uh, we also want to implement 
depends on what software the IT is using that the uh, users don't need to create an own uh, account on our website so they can uh, log in to our site with their university account. Yeah. That we want to do, yeah. yeah. This depends what, what software they're using because they're just at the moment switching the software to, to something else from Apache to Microsoft servers. <laughs> uh, any further questions? No? Okay. Then thank you for listening. I hope uh, you liked the presentation. And if you have some questions or want to have uh, the script to migrate your own 1.0 to 2.5, just add me or write me an email or get me on Twitter. I'm also on LinkedIn, Xing, G+, what else, <laughs> what you want to do. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.